Welcome to a walkthrough on how to set up our desktop application, Frontline SMS, with a USB modem. USB modems are sold by most mobile network operators around the world, usually for internet access. Safaricom in Kenya sells this modem for 2,000 shillings, or around 25 US dollars. It only works on the Safaricom network. These modems are sold by Frontline SMS. They are unlocked and will work with any network. This is useful if you travel a lot and need to use many different mobile networks, but if you're only operating in one country, it's probably cheaper just to use a modem from that country. The modems that we have found to work best are the Huawei E-Series modems. Many mobile operators offer this model. If you can't find a modem of that make and model, then ask to experiment in the store and try different models with Runline SMS to see what you can get to work. All modems ship with driver software that lets you set up the device with the computer, control SMS traffic, and sometimes connect to the internet. When you're setting up Frontline SMS, this is your first move. Remove the cap on the modem and make sure the SIM card with credit and all fully activated by the network is installed in the modem. Insert the modem into the USB port on the computer. The software should start up automatically. Our unlocked modem ships with Mobile Partner, which is Huawei's standard modem software. It installs the drivers and lets you see whether or not your modem has a phone signal. A flashing light on the modem helps you know that it's operational. The mobile partner software has loaded on my computer, so I'm going to start it up. When the modem driver software starts up, it will seek a connection first to the device and then to the mobile network. As soon as it establishes a connection to the mobile network, you must shut the software down straight away. If you don't, any messages coming into the SIM card over the mobile network will appear in the modem driver software and not in Frontline SMS. Here, you can see that I've achieved a signal, but also that I have incoming SMS messages flashing in the modem driver software at the bottom right. Shut down the software and return to Frontline SMS. Note that you don't need to connect to the internet to use Frontline SMS. Now go to the Frontline SMS website and download the software. If you click on the download button on the front page, it'll take you to a page that allows you to download the Windows, Mac or Linux version, depending on the operating system that you're using. I'll download the Mac one. Installing the software should be fairly straightforward. In Mac, you open the disk image and the installer is there. Double click and it will take you through a dialog that will install the software for you. For Windows, it will be slightly different. Follow the normal procedure for Windows or check out our help files for more specific instructions. When it's installed, start up Frontline SMS. As Frontline SMS is starting up, a green icon appears at the top of the screen or in the system tray to tell you that it's set it is starting up. You need to be patient at this stage. Frontline SMS runs in the background on your computer, but you use your default browser to operate it. It may look like a web page, but actually it's an application running on your computer and it's not using the internet. Frontline SMS starts on the same Get Started screen. If you're using a phone or modem, you can connect to a mobile network or on the settings icon in the top right and manually enter the details of your modem. Frontline SMS also has auto detect functionality. If you leave your system for a few minutes, you should find that Frontline SMS will automatically detect that a modem is connected to your computer and set it up to send and receive SMS. If you have problems using Frontline SMS, for example, if the device fails to connect or if messages aren't sent or received, there are some suggestions on our help page. The steps at the top are the ones that usually solve the problem. The ones at the bottom are examples of some of the troubleshooting that we've found to work in the past. When you're using Frontline SMS with a modem, you're essentially hacking a piece of hardware to work with a piece of software that it wasn't designed to use. So don't be surprised if some experimentation is required. When the connection is successfully created, a flash appears at the top of the screen and the connection appears in your connections page with a green light. You can send a test message to check your connection. We'll cover sending and receiving SMS in another video. For now, congratulations, you're ready to use Frontline SMS.